An Ottawa County father is facing multiple charges, including manslaughter, related to the drowning death of his son who had autism. Tonight, we have new information on the investigation that began nearly seven months ago. 13 on your side's Amar Abbas is here with the latest, Amar. Yeah, the suspect has been identified as 50-year-old Timothy Allen Coates. Tonight, authorities tell us the drowning in March was not the first time they had visited the family's home. It was a medical emergency of a 16 year old special needs child that was uh, in the family swimming pool. On March 28th, deputies were called to this home near Hudsonville. Unfortunately, the child was pronounced dead soon after uh, he arrived at Helen DeVos, and so the investigation um, ensued. The seven month investigation involved several search warrants and interviews with family and friends. But there are some very disturbing elements in this case as we have covered through, through the course of, uh, of this investigation. Um, that I think bear the fruits or, or bear out rather the um, the charges that uh, you see today. Those charges are against the teen's father, Tim Coates, an associate professor at Grand Rapids Community College. Coates is now facing manslaughter, second degree child abuse, fourth degree child abuse, and second degree child abuse in the presence of another child. That other children were in the home. Other children were there about the time of the incident. And that abuse in the presence of is, is what constitute that charge. Child Protective Services has removed a 13-year-old sibling from the home, and authorities say this was not the first time they had visited the residence. Yes, we've responded to that um, uh, residence in the past. There's been reports um, that have um, been um, documented um, to the level of abuse, not not to this extent. Earlier this year, the family asked the public for money in order to pay for funeral expenses. It, it certainly is a tragedy, and some of the some of the facts of the case, as, as you will see th later in the course of this process, are very disturbing. Um, and yeah, it, it's uh, it's difficult. It's difficult for all involved. Tim Coates is currently in custody at the Ottawa County Jail. Now, this investigation remains very active, and additional charges could be coming in the future. We will have much more after Coates is arraigned tomorrow.